morning, I'm in Glen Gormley down that way and just beside me here is the entrance to the Lillian Bland Community Park. And the way over there is a very strange construction. And you'd think that this was uh, another piece of gym apparatus here, but this is actually a replica reconstruction of Lillian Bland's uh, very, very early biplane. This is a replica of the 1910 Mayfly hunt. It's a homemade plane. Uh, it was made, uh, so I'm told, uh, from recycled parts of uh, bicycles. And it flew in Parkland at Lord O'Neill's estate, uh, Randallstown, and it flew 30 feet off the ground for several hundred yards. And Lillian Bland is the first woman in Ireland to construct her own uh, biplane and she's the first woman in Ireland to fly that plane. So who was this lady? Well, she, she was certainly eccentric. She was born in 1878 and she died in 1971. She was born in Kent and she was nicknamed the Flying Feminist. Uh, by 1900 uh, she had moved with her father back to uh, the Carn Money area. Her mother had died so her father brought her home. She was an unconventional lady. Uh, she smoked, she drank, she rode horses, she, she was involved in shooting and she was involved in fishing sports. Um, she was a, a photographer of some note as well um, and she made this homemade biplane called the Mayfly and she flew it. She even ordered up a two-stroke engine from Manchester and she, uh, she put it into the aircraft. And this is, as I say, a replica and something for the kids to climb on etc etc and enjoy because this lady was amazing and it's good to remember amazing people who were born locally. This was the first powered biplane in the whole of Ireland and her father promised her a car if she would stop flying and he collected a Model T Ford from Dublin uh, and she drove it home. She, she was unbelievable. In 1911 she married her cousin and emigrated to Vancouver and her cousin turned out to be uh, a lumberjack farmer. She returned to England in 1935. Um, Glen Gormley Park is named after, the, after her, the Lillian Bland Community Park. And this uh, stainless steel uh, uh, artwork uh, designed by uh, Skelton Rainey and built by Nigen Steel Stainless Fabrications Carrick Fergus is uh, put up here as a reminder of this remarkable lady. And rightly so.